Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and I welcome you to my channel The Terrace Kitchen. Today we'll see how to make custard apple or sitafal ice cream in two different ways. We'll make one batch of ice cream using an ice cream machine and the other batch without ice cream machine. The best part of this recipe is that it doesn't use whipping cream. If you like this recipe, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such wonderful recipes. Do not forget to leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. Now let's see how to make this delicious ice cream. We'll make two batches of ice cream mix and each using 200 ml full fat milk, 400 ml Amul's fresh cream. This is the one which comes in blue carton which is low in fat content. So we need 400 ml of this cream. 1 cup plus 1 tablespoon sugar. For one batch of ice cream we need half cup of custard apple pulp or sitafal pulp. Half teaspoon CMC powder, two tablespoon GMS powder. You can find these powders easily at any grocery store. Two tablespoon corn flour. So we need double the ingredients to make two batches of the ice cream. So we'll first make one batch of ice cream. So here I have 200 ml full fat milk. So in a bowl, take two tablespoon GMS powder. 2 tablespoon corn flour, 1 teaspoon CMC powder. You can find these powders very easily at any grocery store. Now take some milk from the 200 ml full fat milk to make a paste of these powders. Using the same ingredients and following the same process, we are going to prepare two different batches of ice cream mixtures, but the way to freeze the two will be different. So here our paste is ready. Now in a pan, heat the remaining milk, remaining as in the remaining from the 200 ml milk which we use to make the paste. Let this come to a boil, then add 1 cup plus 1 tablespoon regular sugar. Give this a mix till the sugar is melted and well combined with the milk. Now add the paste which we had prepared and using a whisk, mix it vigorously till everything is well combined and cook till it thickens. So you can see it has thickened, normally it takes 2 to 3 minutes. You should be doing it at medium flame and now switch off the flame and let this cool down. Meanwhile, we'll deseed the custard apple or sitafal. So here I've taken a big fully ripened sitafal, break it open and scoop out the pulp along with seeds. Now using the back of your spoon and a strainer, mash the sitafal pulp like this. You'll see automatically the seeds will start to separate and for a few, if you have to use your hands, you can. I mean, if you need to. So the seeds have separated, remove them from the pulp. So measure half cup for one batch. We need half and half, so total one cup for both the batches. So here the pulp is ready. The mixture has also cooled down. Strain it using a strainer. This will make sure that we get a very smooth lump-free paste. You can see this is thick. To this add 400 ml Amul's fresh cream. This is the cream which comes in blue carton which is low in fat content compared to the whipping cream. Now add the sitafal pulp. This is half cup of the custard apple or sitafal pulp. Now give this a good mix. So our one batch of ice cream mixture is ready. You need to freeze this for 30 minutes and we'll use our ice cream machine to make ice cream out of this. Similarly, you need to make another batch. So here I've already prepared one which I have put in an airtight container. This ice cream mixture in the airtight container is our second batch of ice cream which is going to be used for the second method in which we are not going to make use of the ice cream machine. I'm calling it second batch so that it's easy for you to recognize which method I'm talking about. The first batch of ice cream mixture, we need to freeze this for 30 minutes and then we are going to use our ice cream machine to make ice cream out of it. So this is the ice cream machine which I'm going to use. This is what it looks like. So this is the lid. I'll take it out. The cavity which you see in the center is for the ice cream bowl. Right now it's in the freezer. You need to freeze it for around 8 to 10 hours till it freezes completely. 
the lid of this machine has a paddle attachment which i'll show you in some time and this is the place from where you need to pour in the batter i mean the ice cream mixture and this is the digital display and buttons to set the timer so here is the bowl it's very very cold that's why i'm using a cloth to hold it you need to fix it and place it inside the cavity of this ice cream machine so this is the paddle attachment which goes right here put the lid on and set the timer i'm setting it for 30 minutes and open the lid now switch on the machine and pour in the ice cream mixture the small cup was getting quite messy and was taking a lot of time so i used a big measuring cup to pour in the ice cream mixture one very important thing to be noted here is that the paddle should be running while you pour in the ice cream mixture just have a look at the level of ice cream mixture we are pouring in because this ice cream is going to increase a lot in volume so let the machine run for the remaining time it will automatically stop as it's done with its job So it's been 30 minutes the machine has stopped and our soft serve ice cream using the ice cream machine is now ready look at the volume of this ice cream now and compare it with the amount of ice cream mixture we had poured in this machine so this is very soft creamy and very airy ice cream i just love to have it right away like this in a waffle or in a cup but you can freeze it to have it just like the normal ice cream like normal ice cream i mean you can scoop it out and then have it but if you want to have it in the soft serve stage you should have it just right away it's very very delicious so now i'm taking this ice cream out into an airtight container i'll take some and put it into a piping bag and show you how to pipe it into a waffle cone and remaining i'll just freeze it and have it later just like a regular ice cream Now moving towards a second method using the second batch of ice cream so we had frozen this into our freezer this has become very hard scoop it out into a bowl if you find the ice cream very hard at this stage you can leave it out for 10 minutes and then scoop it out in a bowl break this ice cream into smaller pieces then using your electric beater beat this ice cream till it becomes very light and fluffy this ice cream will become 3 times the volume it was initially You can see it has become very light and airy. Now transfer it into airtight container and freeze it in your freezer till it sets. So you can see initially we had the ice cream mixture into this one pink airtight container and now after whipping we have two containers full with this ice cream. Now pop this into your freezer till it sets completely. So a second batch of ice cream is now set. I'll take out a scoop and show you. So our both the ice creams are now ready. Let's see how to serve them. So this is the ice cream which we prepared using the ice cream machine which is like a soft serve ice cream. I've put some in a piping bag with a star tip. Now nicely swirl this ice cream into the waffle cone. So this ice cream made with ice cream machine is very creamy and smooth and just tastes delicious. Now guys, you need to let me know in the comment section which method did you like the most and which one you would like to follow. Look at this this looks so tempting. And this is the ice cream which we made using the method number 2 without ice cream machine. I took out some scoops and served in a bowl.